Good morning. Today is Saturday, April 25th. Week 73 of our keto journey. Yes. Yeah. Where you have to trust the keto process. You have to trust the keto process. <laughs> this is my extent of quarantine uh, creativity this week. I was uh, working on a lot of shirts for Stacy and for Costco, and um, I just decided to make one for fun for me, <laughs> like I did last week. Yeah. Yeah. We've gotten quite a few emails. A lot of things I've still got to go through. Um, a couple of people have asked about shirts, so I've got to get kind of replies going and um, see what they need and go from there. And quite a few people have asked for masks for me, so <laughs> yeah. I've got to get down and I think I've made, made probably about, a good dozen. Yeah, actually more. a little bit more than that. Probably about 15 and I have... <laughs> Many more to go. Many more to go. Yeah. Uh, but that's okay. I'm helping I'm helping fellow people out. So we've been working on our taxes and a couple other things that are going on in our lives. So even last night we were up a little too late working on taxes, still trying to get that stuff done. Um, but we will get to y'all and whoever's emailed us, don't worry. We've gotten it. We just have to get to it. We're catching up. We're catching up. But yeah. Yeah. So week seventy three here. Um Let's get right into the numbers. For me last week, I was 330.4. And this week, I was 326.8. Is mm, that right? Yep. Okay. So I was um, down 3.6 pounds. Yay! Yeah, we'll get there. Got to trust the process. Absolutely. The keto process. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm working on it. And, uh, you know, it's just a... Long road for me. Yeah. I still got to go to 80 pounds or so. I want to be down to 240 uh, at six foot six here. Um, 240 was where I was at in high school. I'd love to be under 300. I'll get there. You will. Yeah, another 25, 26 pounds, something yeah. like that. I'm trying to look at it in mini goals so I don't get too overwhelmed with it. <laughs> but hey, I started way back before keto at 442. That was my highest that I was aware of. And that was when we <laughs> lived in uh, up by Barrington, Illinois. Yeah. Palatine. Yeah, um, and that was uh, just before Lauren was born, so in the 1999-2000 range. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been, you know, a long journey coming down, slow but sure. Did a little Weight Watchers, did a little just trying to cut out and do better on my own. And the good yeah. thing about me is I have never really yo-yo dieted. Yeah. Uh, as I've changed things, I've dropped some weight, and then I maintained that, and then I tried something different and dropped some weight and maintained that. And so far on keto, you know, down about 50, 60, I think, at this point. Yeah, about uh, uh, just, just shy of 56 pounds. Yeah. So, you know, I'll just keep going with what, what I'm doing. And uh, I'd say the biggest change for me has been all my medicines and my sugars I still fight That's with. Huge. But it's it's a third of what it used to be. I would have That's 400 funny. sugar days. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I would have days of 400 sugars without any real answer for that. Right. I wasn't down in Coke and eating Doritos either, so... But now my sugars are coming under the 200s. And I'd say yesterday, I think I had like a 174. So that's, yeah, you know, right. coming down. The more I can get that down, the better I can get into ketosis and all that kind of stuff. Did get it fasted this week. I have been doing intermittent fasting, 16 8 windows. Nice. Um, I had just over a 30 hour fast this week. Uh, I'm going to push for a little longer one this week if I can. Yeah. Um, we get so darn busy and then we're up so many hours that I feel like I need it. I need to eat something because I'm getting hungry and then it's like, oh, I'm out of my window and then, yeah, I'm trying. For this quarantine thing or stay at home, which we just got extended in Michigan here till May 15th, I believe. Yes. Um, governor just did that. Uh, we've been busier than ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Busier than times when you don't have yeah. the quarantine. So let's get on to your numbers. So last week I weighed in at 136.2. This morning, this week, I'm having a very bloated week. Um, I'm at 137.6, so I'm up 1.4. And this is your it's my sharky week, right? It is. Yeah, so, <laughs> so stay safe. Do, 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 do. <laughs> stay away. Do, do, do. Right? We're going to need a bigger <laughs> boat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A little Jaws reference, no? <laughs> You didn't see Jaws? I oh, saw what was the Jaws. reference? Uh, when Harry met Sally? I'll have what she's having. As at work, and um, Costco's been fantastic in feeding us during this whole pandemic, and uh, I'm still on a restriction, so I've been serving the food, which is fine with me because then I'm, you know, in the break room. And 
I was serving one of my fellow co-workers, a gentleman, and a younger girl behind him says, I'll have what he's having. <laughs> and of course, I start giggling going, oh, I'll have what she's having. Sounds better. <laughs> she just kind of looked at me like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Only one other person in the break room got it. I was so disappointed because normally I'm not very quick with it when it comes to stuff like that. And I was so excited because I actually was like, oh. I would have I understood. <laughs> then, I, then I went ahead and had to explain so it wasn't as funny. No, but, when you and have then, to explain the joke, it's not funny. <laughs> no, and then yesterday. Or it is funnier then. <laughs> right. Yesterday I made a fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> right? So every time I, somebody said... I would like some fruit salad. I'm like, yummy, yummy. yummy. Yeah, you got to do the whole... Fruit salad. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't have children, or within the last 15 years <laughs> don't have children, that's a song from the Wiggles. And they see fruit salad, yummy, yummy. yummy. And yummy, uh, yummy. yeah, we just get a kick out of that one because both our daughters love the Wiggles. And yeah, we, we had to watch and sit through fruit salad song. Quite a bit. But nobody got it. I would have got it. In <laughs> fact, if you just said fruit salad, I would have probably just said yummy, yummy. I did. Last, so last night I came home and I was telling Bill, I said, I'm so disappointed. Yet again, I had something witty or something quick versus going two hours later going, oh, I should have said. <laughs> yeah. And as soon as I said, I had fruit salad and he said, yummy, yummy. So... Yeah, so this last week we got two videos out. We got your mask video out, yeah. which you really wanted to get going. Yes. And she's got, um, at this desk, she'll hook up all her sewing stuff after this and get working on masks again tonight. Because yeah, you have probably a good half dozen that you got to get done for other people. And yeah. uh, then we also did a quick fat palm video. The other day, Stacy said, you know, I think I really want to make this fat palm recipe. It's so simple. I said, well, if it's so simple, let's just turn the camera on and get you going. So we, you know, made a little quick video. Yeah. I think it was only like three minutes, you know, just a... See, the fat bomb thing is not for me. I don't, I don't, it's too rich. I don't care for the peanut butter and chocolates. Totally. I'm not, I'm not into the sweets. Yeah. And I don't need a fat bomb like I need a hole in the head. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm doing okay on my re real foods. Yeah. But, but Stacy, she still got the sweet tooth and she still wants those treats like that. So there's nothing wrong with that if that's, if that works for you. Yeah. And it, it does help you fill your macros a little on the fat side. It does. For me, I never have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so this week, what's going on? I have a second mask that I want to make. Oh. That's not the one. Style? That, yeah, second style that I want to make. And that one's... <laughs> Is it a pleated I, one then? Or? It's a pleated one. And I'm making my own straps. Oh, that... All right. That'll be cool. It's, it's a total those, fail for the first one I made. Stealing my shoestrings. <laughs> but his shoestrings work really, really well. Yeah, they did. Because they tie. That's what right. shoestrings are made to do, tie. Yep. So, yeah, so um, you can do that. I think you have a, um, well, I see it over here. Um, Low Carb sent us another little granola, and this one's pecan cinnamon, I pecan believe. Pecan cinnamon. Sounds kind of good to just snack on to me. Yes. Uh, you'll probably put, like, almond butter and make it a cereal. Uh, not almond butter, uh, almond milk. milk. Yeah. And just have it as, like, a little cereal. Yeah, probably. We don't even have yogurt. We haven't had yogurt in a while. No. Kroger's probably got yogurt. We just haven't been to. I'm sure they have. We haven't been to the store. We're just trying to make it on what we got. Limit those trips as much as possible. Yep. And then you don't want the stuff from Costco because a lot of that has a lot of sugar. There's specific yeah. ones that you want from Kroger that uh, Carb Master is what we tend to yes. like. And, you know, take a little four or five carb hit, I think, on those. Depending right. on one that you but get. for me, then the, the carb hit for me. Is, it's fine for your macros for that yeah. day. I try and keep mine super ultra low. I like to, if I see it under 15, I'm happy that day. Right. You know, <laughs> let's stay with the under 20. I did really good on Carb Manager all week long. I looked at my Carb Manager. Never had a problem. You don't track anymore, so, you know. Well, I'm, not, I'm not putting you down. Hey, if I could do it without feeling self-conscious, yeah. I just still got a while to go. So I'm, yeah. I'm trying to be more diligent on tracking still. And I've been... For me, pretty consistent within, you know, three, four pounds, up, down, up, down, right, staying yeah, right in that middle area. And you're looking good. So, I mean, you know. Aww. Aww. Wear one, says of, I look wear good. one of the shirts that I made for you. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Always looks crooked, but it's not. But. <laughs> anyway. 
Anyway. Hey, I can put a I can put a logo on a shirt straight. Trust you can. me. But I, I keep looking at our videos and I'm like, your shirt is crooked. But girls it's will just understand. A, it's a girl thing. You gotta adjust. <laughs> but, oh well. Yeah. So we got um, a couple things in the works for this week. You know, it's been about a month now that we have not um, really gone or done much of anything outside of the house beyond like a quick trip to Kroger. And that's just you. We try not to even take yeah. the family like you're supposed to do. And I try and stay the heck out of public. Um, but uh, we've been cleaning some closets and doing some things. And I've run into something <laughs> that is going to make everybody laugh, I think. And we might share it just for giggles. Um, a while back ago couple months this has been probably around Christmas so about four months ago or so yeah. I picked up as a kind of a joke a Floby. remember the Floby from the 80s the little haircutting system with well, the vacuum yeah it's got a little vacuum and everything um, of course you know I'm a dork I, I'm always on the Amazon or online look around I picked up a Floby. it was a refer thing and then um, I got that in the closet and when we started cleaning I f ran across it the other day like, you know, I really need a haircut. My hair is getting really long. This um, is super for, long. For me, this is long for me. Yeah. So I think we're going to pull it out, and we're going to just see if that little thing works. Way back for in the For him, 80s. not for me. Oh, no, never. I wouldn't mess with that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's been over two months probably for a haircut for me. And um, this, for me, this is really long. In fact, i ready to shave my head. But, uh, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to try it out. And... Uh, if it, if it doesn't go too horribly crazy, or maybe yes, if it does, <laughs> or maybe if it does, it'll be even better. We'll just stick the camera there and sit here and try and cut my hair with the flow beat and see how it turns out. It's probably been about 35, maybe 40 years since I would uh, used a flow beat. My mom had one back in the 80s when everybody used to remember that commercial if you're <laughs> over 35. You know, um, the little bouncy flow beat vacuum -y hair thing. And... Uh, I don't know. I was a kid, so I didn't really pay too much attention, but it worked, <laughs> you know. So we're going to try it out on me. And then worst comes to worst, I just shaved my head. Dawn, That's... if you're watching, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, Dawn, sorry. But I don't want her getting sick, and I don't want to get sick, and I don't want to be know. in those social situations at this point. until well, you things can't anyway, around. but. Yeah, you can't anyway, because they're closed and. You know, she's, Don will revisit you once yeah. things are back up. And the whole running. shop's closed, not just Dawn. So. Right, I know. It's yeah. just this, Dawn so, specifically. <laughs> at a certain point, you have to start taking matters into your own hands. And when I ran across that in the closet the other day, we were He was moving. so excited. I even found a guitar that I forgot I had. I did. Whoa. It was actually my mom's. Oh. I, I love that guitar. It's really cute. I just didn't know where I put it. I put it, it got stuffed in there and there was like long trench coats and things that were all covering things. Yeah. I'm like, what's this? It's a guitar case. It's a really nice little uh, acoustic, it's a Neil Diamond acoustic guitar. And it was hers. That so, explains it. Yeah. Yeah, it is a really nice so, guitar. So um, I took that out and kind of restrung it up and it's a pretty little guitar. Yeah. And it made me smile thinking of my mom. There so, you go. Yeah. So hopefully she's watching down and was smiling and got a kick out of it. Yes. We always see the clock. It's 11-11 all the time. That's my yeah. mom's anniversary. And her favorite um, number. And, and my favorite number. Yeah. I don't know about my mom. My mom's favorite number was 11. 11. Yeah. My, my favorite number is 11 too. So yeah. a lot of times we're sitting down. We're just sitting down at night and uh, we both look at the clock. 11-11. It happens all the time. All the time. So I try and smile and think maybe mom was watching over us. Yep. And throwing the clock at us saying 11 11. Absolutely. 11 11. I'm in I got to get going. Stacy does have to get going to, to work here. So yes. uh, we will wrap this up and we will hopefully see you this week. Maybe we'll uh, we're gonna get in that low carb. We're going to yeah. get maybe a Floby, uh, maybe a second mask this week. I don't yes. know. I, I'd love to just have a day off where we can get a bunch of stuff done. Yeah, so. absolutely. We'll see. We're going to try. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and hanging Thank out you. with us. And I hope that if you're sticking with keto, that you stay with it and that everything's going smooth for you. We're starting to find some foods out there. We found some chicken. We found some ground beef yesterday. Yeah. I'm so excited. I want to make a hamburger. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my mm. goodness. Maybe we'll have hamburgers cheese. tonight. Hamburgers. You can make it for me. That was I will cool. hand make you a hamburger, baby. It'll be young, wonderful. I just got to figure out a bun option. I guess yeah. it's just open face for me. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Thanks again. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.
Have fun.